let's talk about the jewelry box top or maybe you want to call it a lid anyways don't forget our box was about eight inches wide all right it's about eight inches wide so you can see here the top is going to be a little bit wider than eight inches and what's going to happen is there's just not a lot of lumber in our shop that is over eight inches wide so chances are that we're going to have to glue up two pieces of lumber at least two pieces of lumber to make uh, a top that's eight inches wide and don't forget our box was 11 inches long and if i just throw this on here you can see we're almost 13 inches on the top itself because what we do is we have to glue on these brackets okay so we on each end we have brackets that's what's making the top um, a little bit longer so we have to glue up some material anyways so let's think about what you want the top to look like right we are fine craftsmen here so now what we're doing is we're looking at the grain patterns and colors of wood and things like that and we're putting together a nice combination so here this student uh, has a black walnut box so they decided that they wanted to put a stri uh, strip of maple down the middle and so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and glue that up uh, another example another example this is two pieces of wood there's one wood one piece here and one piece here and what this student has chosen to do is this is the heartwood that's the sapwood and then there's some sapwood and some more heartwood right so they liked that pattern coming together so they specifically chose this and they glued these two pieces together so how are we going to go about starting to make that box top so here we are here's the box top instructions for the jewelry box box top step number one we're going to rough to length miter saw 14 inches long and so i'm going to give you the instructions on how to glue up two pieces to make the top if you want to do three, that's fine, but let's do two pieces. All right. Step number two, we're going to joint an edge on the jointer. Step number three, we're going to rip to width on the table saw. And I have this number here, four and a quarter. So I said we're going to need a top that's just a little bit over eight inches wide. So this would be about eight and a half. After we glue it up, we can always make it smaller. So that's why we went to four and a quarter. Step four is to glue up. So let me take you over to the glue up table and show you what I'm talking about there. So I'm at the glue up table. I've got my two pieces, right? I roughed them to 14 inches long. You can see here this piece is a little bit longer than this piece, but that's okay because it's just a rough to length cut. Before I put my two pieces, before I glued them together, what I did is I, I looked at the grain pattern. So you can see here my line going right down the middle. I looked at the grain pattern, I flipped these things around, I seen how they went together, and I decided this is the way, this is the look that I wanted. This is how I wanted the, grain, the pattern to be. So what I did is before I came to the glue up table, I just simply made two lines so that when I get to the glue up table, I wasn't confused, I know exactly how they're gonna go together. All right? so over here at the glue up table, notice I have newspaper down, right? It's a lot easier to clean up uh, spilled glue and things like that and drip glue if we've got the newspaper down I've got two bar clamps so what I did is just very similar to our uh, cutting board I just glued one edge I put the pieces together you know um, when we when we glue them together they're gonna kinda wanna shift back and forth so you just you know just line them up the best you can tighten both clamps uh, at the same time and also what we want to do is we want to make sure that they're, they're as level as possible so this is the same level as that and then we just go ahead and we tighten these things up 
make sure you put your name and period on them, uh, period, so that uh, you can find your board the next day. And that's all we have for now. We'll continue the video after this has dried and we can start to plane and square up the board.